Hello everyone and thanks for coming back for the next part of this epic painting. This week we're going to be focusing on the second and third layers of the face, skin and the dress. And it's interesting to look back at this all together because you can really see the transformation in the tones and how three-dimensional she becomes. I w wasn't really intending to do a third layer of colour on the skin, but it was just how it turned out in the end. I initially started in putting in the shadows and defining the shapes a bit more, um, working with what I put underneath the first layer, so following what I had already done so that I didn't get carried away in terms of the proportions of the face um, and the general shape of it. Obviously having marked that out using those grid lines and getting the proportions right, um, it's easy to get carried away and um, just put some colour on and, and then lose all that good proportion that you've done underneath it. So being mindful of what I'd previously done and working over the top of that, I began just putting on more colour, more shadows, highlights. Um, and interesting to see the face go from quite flat looking and a bit pale to uh, being more alive really, to having more colour, uh, more depth of skin tone and more shadows and highlights. She really starts to come to life. and. The second layer really made the whole shape of the face look more defined. And then this third layer going on was really about the very fine details, so eyelashes, tiny little highlights, the hair of the eyebrows, all of those really little fiddly bits and really looks more like she's alive, like she's actually there. Um, but I'm constantly looking at the reference photo here again and I would be zooming in much closer to the, the photo than you can see here to do each tiny little section, zooming in as close as I could uh, to get all the little highlights and shadows and colours just where I wanted them to be, as close as I could to the reference photo. Highlights the fact that it's really useful to have a very good quality photo here so that you can enlarge it to that that point where you, you really can see all the fine detail. First layer of the body obviously marks the sort of general shape and then the second layer fills in tone and colour and shadow highlights and get more of the features of the contours, the shape of the body and then added in the dress obviously over the top. Um, I was quite pleased with how the dress colour came out. I was, I was a bit slapdash with the first layer of colour on that and it worked out pretty well. Thanks for watching again and I hope you've enjoyed the progress of this. Uh, there will be other videos obviously because there's more to do on this painting. Um, so come back next time and see the next stage. Take care and happy painting.